We are now just one day away from NVIDIA's RTX 5000 series keynote, where the juicy details of their latest Blackwell GPUs will finally be unveiled. And yet there are still new leaks and rumors dropping as we speak. So we're gonna talk about all of those today. It is an exciting time. Get on your leather jackets and prepare to sell whatever kidneys you have left. Before we continue, this video is brought to you in part by cdkeyoffer.com. So I have three desktop PCs that I regularly bounce between, and all of them are running activated copies of Windows from keys that I got on cdkeyoffer.com. I've used many key sites in the past, but CD Key Offer is the only one I've never had an issue with. I've never had a bad key. I've never had to call customer service. I've never had to email customer support, and I've never had to activate Windows over a phone, which is super fun. Right now, you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for around 22 bucks, but wait, add it to your cart. Use the 25% discount code BW20 at checkout, and the price drops to just $16.93. Buy Grabthar's Hammer, what a savings. To use your new key, just go to your purchased orders from the drop down menu to view and copy the key once you get there, and then paste that key into the Windows activation page. Voila! You've got an activated OS that's also eligible for a free upgrade to Windows 11. Alternatively, you can skip the upgrade and buy Windows 11 Pro directly using the same code BW20 to snag the OS for around 23 bucks. Activate the key using the aforementioned steps and get the full Windows experience easily and affordably. Thanks again to cvkeyoffer.com. Now back to the main video. So for the record, I don't usually look at rumors like this because I like to be surprised and I hate being disappointed when I have expectations. It's kind of the same reason why I usually avoid watching movie trailers for films I really wanna see. But in this case, we're less than 24 hours away from the big announcement of the 5000 series. So I figured what the hell, there have been some pretty cool leaks in the last day or two that'll be fun to discuss. Before we dive into it though, I have my own announcement that I will be doing a keynote watch party for the event. Oh yeah. Everyone's invited, come hang out in chat. I'm gonna be live streaming from my Las Vegas hotel room where we can all watch the NVIDIA keynote together. And just to make things a little more eventful, we'll also be playing 5000 series bingo. So everyone in chat will receive a unique custom bingo card to play along with me as we watch the keynote. Will the 5090 be over $2,000? Will there be painful ramblings about AI? And most notably, kitchen? The live watch party starts on January 6th at 6 p.m. Pacific time. That's 30 minutes before NVIDIA's keynote starts and it'll be streamed right here on the channel. So I hope to see you guys there. Now let's talk about these very last minute rumors that are just coming to us. Uh, a lot of these are from videocards.com. They've been really crazy with all the leaks for this launch that they've been all over the place. Take all these with a grain of salt. Rumors are just rumors until they're officially confirmed by NVIDIA themselves. So just bear that in mind. But we have some fairly convincing leaks, uh, that being said. The first of which is the MSI RTX 5080 gaming trio has been caught on camera. If this is a genuine image, this looks like a retail box noting the OC edition. And the back of the box confirms 16 gigs of GDDR7 and a 256 bit memory interface, which is pretty much in line with the previous rumors that we've been hearing. The packaging claims that this board partner card will feature three display port and one HDMI port. However, no version is specified, although we are expecting display port 2.1 to arrive with the RTX 5000 series. We also see that there's no change of the list of NVIDIA technologies on this box, they are pretty much exactly in line with what we saw on the RTX 40 series, which means that there's no mention of DLSS 4, for example. However, we've got some more details on that later in this video. Based on what our eyeballs can see, we're expecting at least a 2.5 slot design with three fans. It's gonna be using the GB203 400 GPU with 10,752 CUDA cores on a PCIe Gen 5 interface, which we're expecting for the full lineup of Blackwell GPUs. This also hints that the RTX 5080 may be the first in the series to launch, uh, which is rumored to be on January 21st, just two weeks roughly after the keynote. Uh, and if the 5080s are currently being shipped to distributors, that could explain why we're just now seeing leaked images like these. Some additional rumors have also come out on the RTX 5090's power specifications, including a TDP of 575 watts versus the 4090's 450 watt TDP. That's a 125 watt increase over last gen, while the RTX 5080 is expected to have a TDP of 360 watts. These figures are a bit lower than what we saw previously, with 600 watts being the TDP for the 5090, uh, 400 for the 5080, but those higher figures uh, that were 
were rumored previously might just be the maximum power limits uh, required by NVIDIA's spec for board partners. The RTX 5090 will feature a GB202 GPU with 21,760 CUDA cores, which if true, would be a first for NVIDIA. Uh, their first GPU having over 20,000 CUDA cores, which is pretty cool. And we're expecting 32 gigs of GDDR7 on a 512-bit bus. The 5080 would be exactly half that with just 16 gigs of GDDR7 memory on a 256-bit interface. Both cards are expected to support PCI Gen 5 and DisplayPort 2.1a as well. We also have some leaks that are a little older, about a week old now, but still worth noting again. If you haven't heard them yet, leaks uh, from premature Zotac listings on their website hinted that there would be an RTX 5070 Ti and a 5070 SKU coming as well. Here's a look at the rumored specs of all four of those cards, uh, 5080, 5090, 5070 Ti, 5070. These are published by videocards.com. Most notably, uh, the RTX 5080 and 5070 Ti will share the same GB203 GPU, but the 5070 Ti will feature a cut down version of that, while the 5080 gets the full fat die. The 5070 non-TI uses a different GPU though, the GB205, and if these specs are true, it appears there will be a huge performance gap between the 5070 and 5070 Ti, very similar as to what we saw with the 40 series. Uh, that TI is really making a difference. Renowned leaker Copite 7 Kimmy also recently announced that DLSS 4 is true, quote, uh, and will be making its debut to the 5000 series as the latest update to NVIDIA's AI upscaling technology. This comes after one retailer, listed an ASUS RTX 5080 with DLSS 4 mentioned in the title. However, gamers seem to be more focused on Inno3D's mention of neural rendering capabilities when teasing their CES 2025 coverage, claiming it revolutionizes how graphics are processed and displayed, with some speculating that this could refer to a breakthrough in AI-assisted graphics arriving with DLSS 4. I'd like to say I'm hopeful that there won't be any series-exclusive features on the 5000 series, much like how we saw frame generation being exclusively supported on the 40 series, but knowing NVIDIA, that's probably not going to happen. But Team Green aren't the only ones set to announce new GPUs at CES this year. AMD is expected to announce their highly awaited 9000 series of graphics cards. In fact, according to Game Rant's sources, the new lineup may have a staggered release from January to May, starting with AMD's flagship model, the Radeon RX 9070 XT. The 9000 series is also expected to debut FSR 4, which might leverage AI upscaling and frame generation very much like DLSS. Uh, it sounds nice in theory, We'll see about execution. As of now, it doesn't seem like AMD really has a high-end answer to NVIDIA's RTX 5090, uh, but hopefully they can offer some strong competition in the entry-level and mid-range market. Uh, I will cite Intel as a, as a stellar example with their latest ARC B580 GPU that retails for 250 bucks and absolutely smokes the RTX 4060 just in terms of value and even performance to a degree. So hopefully we can see more of that same heat in the mid-range market for AMD's 9000 series. So those are all of the latest incoming rumors that we have for now, but rest assured, I guarantee you, there will be more leaks in the next 24 hours leading right up until the keynote because it's inevitable, it always happens for huge events like these. So I will keep my ear to the ground for those. That way we can discuss them during our live watch party tomorrow, January 6th at 6 p.m. Pacific time right here on the channel. Hope you guys can make it. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna be playing bingo. Who doesn't like bingo? We got prizes? No, I don't have prizes. How about this? Whoever gets bingo, wins a Frisbee and a pallet of Portuguese tile. Stakes are high now. Yeah, so now you have to come. That's what she said. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy New Year. I will see you guys tomorrow.